the name again? Well, maybe that's what this is. Um, I just had a terrific dream about what's in that thing. And? We made enough out of it to buy a nice little business back on Earth. Oh, yeah? What sort? Agri-business. Agri? We don't know anything about farming. We weren't born knowing about the scrap salvage business. No, we spent years learning it. Little house, roses round the door. I wonder what chicken scratching in the yard. Years of grafting and we still can't make a straight living. Don't stop moaning. Well, can we? We make a living. This you call living? And anyway, I said a straight living. You really are a guilt-ridden little soul, aren't you? Well, it's no fun winning if you have to cheat. Winning's not supposed to be fun, sweetie. It's just something we have to do. Something we're going to do in a big way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chickens round the door, roses scratching in the yard. I've got a feeling, a definite feeling. So? What was in this dream? Tell me more about it. Oh, I don't know. All I know is it was the end of all our problems. Why don't you come to... Yeah. Good morning. Oh, forgive me. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. We were supposed to start the tour about now, weren't we? No sweat. Yeah, I forgot how precise you Brits are about these things. Have a cup of coffee. Make yourself comfortable. Thanks. Did you sleep well? Yes, yes, thank you. Gravity does make all the difference. I shall never get used to sleeping weightless. Well, we got a couple of guys working on that problem right now. Government research? Hell no. They're both from pharmaceutical houses. They're probably duplicating each other's research, but what the hell? They got the funding, huh? And do you have any government research? Oh, there's some funding. Oh, say, what's the story on this uh, Russian of yours? Uh, which Russian would that be? Kravenko. Well, when did he get to be my rush? Well, you got his predecessor fired. Oh, well, he was a murderer. A possible murderer. So you got the rush in his job. It was their turn. Yeah, but you got it for them early. They're in place two years early. Oh, does it matter? Hell, it matters. We weren't ready. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you planning? A ticker tape parade? Oh, they were ready, though, weren't they? They had a guy trained and waiting back on Earth. <laughs> Kravenko's a senior academician. Oh, yeah. He's the Nobel Prize winner for medicine. It is mainly due to his work that you and I can come and go from Earth to space without any major boat damage. You gotta hand it to them bastards, huh? When they give a guy deep cover, they really do a job, huh? <laughs> you think he's a spy? Oh, that's a crude word. They're cleverer than that. You think I'm a spy? I think you've been used. In other words, I'm more stupid than that. Well, you Europeans have always been naive where those Russians are concerned. Possibly. So what is this government research that you do? Huh? Saved by the bell. Yeah. Is the circuit open for Commander Spring, sir? Well, I'll give you a little privacy. Oh, no need. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll be in the mess room when you're ready. Oh, hey. I heard from the State Department. They turned you down flat. Oh. I can't even replace Hubble. Sorry. I can see that. What'd you expect, huh? So much for the Allies. Box. Yes, Statham. Are there any concealed computer terminals in this room? No. This is merely a primary communications console. Commander Nathan Spring, open circuit. David, what are you still doing there? Hi, how's it going? Well, it's not going to be as easy as cheating at pool. Listen, aren't you supposed to be Earthside interviewing recruits? Yeah, I'm leaving any time now. Look, there's been a small problem that's come up since you've been away. Yes, what is it? Well, it's not really something I can talk about over an open circuit. Well, my mind reading is a little rusty, David. Oh, caught you at a bad moment, huh? Get on with it. You seem a bit tense, Nathan. They're not making you sleep in a weightless unit, are they? Just what exactly is it that you want, David? Kenzie is on her way to you. She's what? Look, she's done all the preliminary work on the case. She's got all the details. What case? What details? She'll explain it all to you when she gets there. Listen, this better be important enough to justify sending that bloody woman here. I thought I made it quite clear she does not leave that desk. You also made it clear that I was running things in your absence. That woman is a menace. I think the case could be too, Nathan. I think there may be some political problems. Oh, well, in that case, Kenzie is perfect casting. Believe me, she'll be less of an embarrassment there than I would be. you got to trust me on this. Uh, from here, my recruitment policy is beginning to look a little eccentric. Listen, Nathan, 
I think what we're seeing here is a definite game plan. Our problem is, is we don't know who's coaching the play. Diddy, that's it, that's it. <laughs> you gotta learn your football. Mom. Yeah, I know. Commander Spring, oh, hey. You ready for your little goodbye tour now? <laughs> if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> Tommy, did the State Department explain why they turned us down? They are, quote, not in favor of international policing, unquote. Oh. Well, they were at the beginning. Until they looked up the word international, found out that it didn't just mean Americans abroad. Well, I did warn you. Why should the United States government support an organization that is basically anti-American? Well, the Stark Ops is basically anti-crime, Commander, nothing else. Well, we can handle our own crime. Well, supposing I have to prove you can't. <laughs> It'll never happen. You're a gambling man, Commander. Goes with the territory. You don't know that? You don't know anything about the people that come out here? Well, ever played cards with Hubble? I may have. Well, don't you remember? I can't say that I do. I play poker with a lot of guys. Right. Hubble must have been a pretty remarkable player, though. Oh, yeah? Really? Well, how else would you explain how he took so much money off people so regularly? There you go again. You're a good poker player, Commander? I know when to ride my luck. How about you? I don't know. This still sounds to me like some excuse for you to get your ass out of that office. You're the one who says them for anomalies. Well, you couldn't have a more glaring one than that, could you? She says he's missing. You can't find any evidence that he ever existed. He has no social welfare or security ID number. No birth, marriage or death registration. No credit classification, no transportation licenses. No passport number or security ID. No medical, education or military certification. Has she? I ran a check on her. And Harvey Goodman is listed as her next of kin. That's the only place he is listed. Well, what does that prove? Well, not very much at this stage, but don't you find it suspicious? Well, what exactly do you think this woman is up to? I don't know exactly. But I think she could be like an agent provocateur. Oh, I see. Or rather, I don't see. Have you checked with the people here? No. If someone is trying to stir up trouble with the Yanks, that'd play straight into their hands. Well, who would want to do that? As if I didn't know. The Russian was there when the call came through. He even predicted it. Oh, that was clever of him, wasn't it? To avoid suspicion like that. It's arrogance. He couldn't resist playing games with us. What did this Goodman woman say her brother was? A microbiologist. Said he graduated from Caltech, did a postgrad at MIT. Mm. But there's no record of it on their computers. According to their computers, nobody called Goodman was ever at either one. <sighs> Over what period? Ever. Or as far back as the computer records go. Have you checked the odds on that? What for? Goodman isn't a particularly unusual name. I suppose not. So? Kenzie, you strike me as several things, but stupid is not one of them. Of all the thousands and thousands of students who have ever attended Caltech and MIT... There should have been at least one good man at some time. The records have been got at. Possibly. If somebody wanted to do a fast, dirty job... They'd erase all references to the name Goodman and trust on nobody spotting it. Would be in a position to do that? Oh, I'm sorry I should have thought of that. Yes, you should have. I said I'm sorry. Oh, well, that makes everything all right. Now, according to the system, Goodman was a microbiologist working here. All right, where? Where? The people who use this station do so on what the Americans are pleased to call a say-and-pay basis. They say what work they plan to do, then they pay for the right to do it in some appropriate part. They hire a room. Roughly speaking. Well, roughly speaking, the room he was supposed to have hired is called Outer Module Z-13. But what's more important is that this sister claims she was told that module doesn't even exist. Does it? Well, I don't know yet. Kenzie, were you planning to check any of the facts in this case? Do you find being perfect a problem, sir? I find being patient a problem, Kenzie. Well, Theroux is going to interview Ms. Goodman. 
when he's back on Earth recruiting. Oh, well, there is always a very good first move. I'm glad we did something right. Too late to be of any use to this investigation and no use at all to you out here. On a scale of one to ten, score minus three. Or is that being over generous? Depends on your next move and what you find out as a result. <laughs> Let's have some coffee. I'll introduce you to John Wayne. 